The latest version of Google's Nexus tablet snuck its way onto the tech scene this week with little warning. And while we're not expecting the Nexus 9 to make as big a splash as some other tablets released last month, its ripple is enough to get us excited to see it on our teardown table, and we didn't waste any time getting it there. Time to tear it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the Nexus 9. The Nexus 9 is Google's HTC-made 9-inch tablet that, not surprisingly, is around the same size as another 9-inch tablet we've seen recently. The Nexus 9 measures in at 153.68 millimeters by 228.25 millimeters and just barely under 8 millimeters thick at 7.95 millimeters. The 9 actually weighs in 12 grams lighter than the iPad Air 2 at 425 grams for the wide version and boast an 8.9 inch IPS LCD display. We decided to jump right in and get this teardown rolling. To get into the 9, we only needed our hands. You heard me, this tablet is not held together with adhesive, which means it could be looking at high marks from our teardown team. Unfortunately, the camera also wanted to come along for the ride. While we're never sad to see easy to remove parts, this accidental removal was a little disheartening as the camera was connected to the underside of the motherboard. Since we got the camera out, let's take a closer look at it. This is an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of f2.4 and a 29.2 millimeter focal length that features autofocus and an LED flash but lacks any optical image stabilization. One interesting thing of note is that this is the same camera found in the HTC Desire 610. Next up, the battery. This battery is held in place by a good amount of adhesive, but it's no match for our spudgers. After carefully prying it out, we examine the specs and find that this is a 3.8 volt, 6700 milliamp hour battery that Google claims will give you 9.5 hours of web browsing and up to 30 days of standby on the Wi-Fi model. There's more goodies to see, so we power through and discover the front-facing camera, which is easily removed with our tweezers. This is a 1.6 megapixel camera that has an aperture of f2.4 and is capable of shooting video at 720p. To get to any other components, we have to peel away a good amount of copper shielding. But once that's out of the way, we're able to remove the motherboard. On the board, you'll find a 64-bit NVIDIA-made Tegra K1 processor that is running at 2.3 gigahertz the two gigabytes of Alpita made RAM, and the 16 gigabytes of Samsung made EMMC NAND flash storage. After we remove the last few odds and ends left in the case, we turn our attention back to the display in hopes that we will be able to separate it from the display assembly. And the verdict is in. You can separate the LCD from the display assembly, but you'll need a good amount of patience, a lot of heat, and a lot of careful prying. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Nexus 9 scored a three out of 10, and here's why. On the plus side, the rear case is secured with clips, so it can be easily removed without heat or tools. Just don't lose your rear facing camera. The battery is easy to get too, but it's also glued in place. Thankfully, the adhesive is not so strong as to require heat to separate. But on the downside, the interior is a maze of tape and thin, delicate cables, making disassembly and reassembly difficult. The LCD is fused to the front glass, so you'll need to replace both components in the event of a cracked screen. And finally, the display glass is solidly glued to the midframe, making the replacement difficult unless you can source a whole assembly. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.